everybody and welcome back to Premiere Gal. In this video, we're gonna run some fun experiments to remove echo from voice and video. So if you've interviewed people for video in big spaces, you've probably run into this issue. Like me, right now I'm in a stairwell, probably not the best space to record in, but if you're doing like a home tour or something like that, you may run into this echo issue. So there's some built-in tools in Premiere Pro that can do this for you. And there's also paid for plugins that you can use. So this experiment is to see, is the built-in tool worth it? Does it work on its own well? Or do you need to spend that extra money to actually buy the plugin to do it for you? So let's jump into Premiere Pro and let's test it out. All right, so here we are with test number one using the free method inside of Premiere Pro. And let me just play back the clip here in my timeline that has the echo so you can listen. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. So you can hear that the echo is quite intense. So we're going to search for an effect, an audio effect from the effects panel here. It's called the parametric equalizer. So here, just click and drag it on to the audio clip. And here from effect controls, you're going to hit edit. And this will open up a clip effects editor. Now it looks complicated, but all that the parametric equalizer does is allow you to cut, which is another word for reducing for audio, or boost certain frequencies. So inside of the echo clip, there are frequencies that are more affected and distorted by the echo. So we wanna reduce that distortion as much as possible. And so we only need to identify a certain amount of frequencies here. So let's work with the two, three, and the four. And this down here is the Hertz level. This is the frequency from zero all the way up to 30K. And these are the vocal frequencies somewhere in here. So we need to play around with these. So let's go ahead and turn off the low end, the one, the five, and the H just by clicking on these here until they're grayed out. So you'll notice when I bring this up, it's actually quite wide, the frequency that we're working with. So we wanna narrow this down. We wanna change this to about 20, so it's more pointed, okay? And let's go ahead and make the 220 as well, and the 420, okay? So now when I bring these up, they're also going to be pointed, right? So let me just undo that. And so what we need to do now is play back the clip and then we can move this around until we start to hear maximum distortion. And that's the point that we then want to reduce the gain down into the negative. So that way it will drop down below this volume level. Over here is the decibel, so we want it to be below zero to drop down that distortion. So let's go ahead and play it back here in the timeline. I'll hit the space bar. All right, so that and is listen. it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new. All right, there it sounds terrible. It's really distorted, so you just want to move it until you find that really ugly sound, and then down here from the gain, we're going to reduce this, let's say to negative 20. So it goes down. And now let's go ahead and do this to the two and the four. So let's go ahead and play it back again. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So All right, right there it sounds terrible. So let's reduce that to minus 20. And again, you can play around with the negative once we play it back to see how much you need to reduce it. Now, number four, let's play it back. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new videos. Right there, it sounds absolutely horrid. Let's reduce this to negative 20. And now let's play it back see how it sounds. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure. And as I play it back, I'm just going to click this on and off. So when I click this like that, that means that the effect is off. And when I click it back on, that means that it's on. So let's go ahead and play it 
and I will turn that on and off so you can hear the difference. So this is with. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to without. give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new videos every week. And if you guys want extra priority support for your tech video questions, so you can hear that it's just a slight reduction in echo. It doesn't remove all of it. This clip has a ton of echo on it. So we're not gonna be able to get rid of everything, but we can only improve it. So we're really only reducing echo, not completely removing it. But there's another parametric equalizer that I actually think works better and it's more simple. Let me show it to you. And this is free, by the way, it's still free. So let's just close this off and let's turn off this effect here from effects controls. And now let's use the AU parametric equalizer. And let's click and drag it on the clip. Then again, we're gonna hit edit from effect controls. And here it's the same thing, but instead of using the numerical values below to control the width of the frequency, like I showed you below, we can make it more wide by moving these yellow lines and see how it just kind of made this drop. And then if you move the yellow lines in, it makes it more narrow. Okay, so let's use this and same method. We're just gonna play it back and bring this up until we identify the problem area. Okay. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So right here at 711 Hertz is the problem area. So let's go ahead and reduce that down to like negative 15, see the gain, you can see the gain there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just play this back here and I'm gonna turn the effect on and off to see if you can hear the difference. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be and sure off. to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification and on. bell so you're notified when I make new videos off. every week. And if you guys want extra priority support, so I think it did a pretty good job and I actually like this tool better because you're just working with the most distorted version. The only benefit of using the parametric equalizer is that you have multiple points that you can bring down. Here you only get one, but I actually like the way that this sounds a lot better. So I'll just keep this one applied. So this is the free method. And then there's also of course the plugin method. You can use an effect called crumple pop echo remover and crumple pop echo remover costs $99 a one-time payment you install it and then you need to go up to premiere pro preferences audio and you need to go to audio plugin manager and make sure after you install it to scan for the plugins and then you will see that you can search for it here and if it's here and it's checked that means it's enabled and it will appear in your effects so here we're just going to apply this echo remover to the clip and when we play it back you will hear that nothing's happened all right so that is it and that is because we need to hit edit here and first hit remove echo and you will see a green dot appears and that means that the effect is in action now let's play it back and see how it sounds for this video if it helped you out be sure to give it a thumbs up let's turn it off also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when i make new videos every week and if you guys want extra. Again, the echo is still there, but it's not as strong, but we can go in and we can increase the strength of the echo remover. The release controls when your voice sort of falls off. And so if we reduce the release, which I'll show you in a second, you'll hear more of the echo come back. So that's why you want the release to be as high as possible without distorting it. And the bass reduction will reduce the bass, the lower end frequencies that you hear in really high echo situations. So we can play around with that. But in this case, you may not hear much of a difference because the bass isn't that high in this clip. All right, so let's go ahead and play around with these parameters as I play it back. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs so up. So that's way too sure distorted. To subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new videos every week. And if you guys want extra priority Here, when you reduce the release, it's way more echoey. So we want to increase that. And join my Patreon community at Patreon. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new videos every week. And if you guys want... 
All right, so I think that this is the ideal settings for this case, so let's go ahead and play it back and I'll turn the effect on and off as we listen. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new videos every week. And if you guys want extra, price. All right, so this is the best settings for the Crumple Pop Echo Remover. Let's go ahead and listen back to the first test with the free effects versus Crumple Pop, and then we can decide which one we like better. So this is with the parametric equalizer. All right, so that is it for this video. Turn if it off. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make. So there's still an echo there, but we were able to reduce a lot of it using the parametric equalizer. So it sounds pretty good. Now let's listen back to the crumple pop echo remover. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new videos every week. And if you guys want extra priority support for your tech video questions or you want some free templates. I think the Crumple Pop Echo Remover did a better job. Again, this clip is an extreme version of Echo. If you're just dealing with a slight Echo, you'll probably have even better results than I achieved in this tutorial. But you may also be able to use the free effect as well. So my recommendation is if you're working with a clip that has Echo, first try the free effects that I showed you here in this tutorial. If you're not able to achieve what you need, try the trial version of Crumple Pop Echo Remover. And if you like what you get, then go ahead and say, okay, this is actually gonna be worth my money and it's only a one-time payment. So then you're like, okay, purchase it and then you use it and then you're done and then your client's happy and you're happy. So really just play around with it first and then decide before you purchase. All right, so that is it for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new videos every week. And if you guys want extra priority support for your tech video questions or you want some free templates, you can join my Patreon community at patreon.com slash premiergal. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. So if you've worked in video for a while, you'll probably have been... Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back. There's a bus. Echo remover. Let's actually point this down more towards my face, okay.